Juan Dominguez and Joe Munoz from One Step Prep. Today we're going to be reviewing the Boeing 737 Classic. Actually, it's pretty much the same for the NG. We're going to be reviewing the Bleak Trip Off Flight. All right, so uh, we're going to talk about this system, pneumatic system, the Bleak Trip Off Flight. What happens when the Bleak Trip Off Flight comes on and how can we determine if the problem is going to be pressure or if, if it's going to be temperature. Now, if you see over here the diagram, let's talk about number two engine here and number two systems, all right, on the right size. So normally we're gonna have the number two engine, normally we're gonna have two stage, the fifth stage and the ninth stage, right? Normally we use the fifth stage to open the engine bleed valve. Remember that the engine bleed valve is electrically controlled and pneumatically operated. So normally it's controlled electrically by the number two engine bleed switch, right? Sending 28 volts to the valve to open when you have pressure. Now, remember that the pressure is coming from the fifth stage, or if the fifth stage doesn't have enough pressure to open the valve, then we use the ninth stage to open the valve. Why the ninth stage? Because now the ninth stage is further aft of the engine, so the pressure is going to be higher. Now, at the same time, the temperature is going to be higher. So what's going to happen? Remember, normally the pre-cooler is going to have to work a little bit harder to maintain the proper temperature coming out, right? So what happened? The pre-cooler normally sends an information to the fan air valve so we can get air from outside to help the pre-cooler to maintain the proper temperature coming out, all right? So what happened? Normally, one of the questions that I would like to review here is, in the oral, you guys gonna get this type of question. What happens when you get the bleed trip off light? Okay, the bleed trip off light on. Normally, if you follow me here to the panel, all right? So if you see here the bleed trip off light, the amber bleed trip off light on. What does that mean? What can cause the bleed trip off light to come on? All right, so now, let's look over here again. Let's go to the diagram, all right? So if you look here at the pneumatic schematic, right? You can see here that we're gonna have a pressure sensor that is gonna be before the engine bleed valve, right? The engine bleed valve. And then you're gonna have a temperature sensor that is gonna be after the engine bleed valve. This is what Boeing's call upstream and downstream. Upstream means it's before the engine bleed valve and downstream means it's after the engine bleed valve. So, normally what happens? When the bleed trip of light comes on, that means excessive pneumatic temperature or pressure. That's why we have these two sensors, excessive pneumatic temperature or pressure. Now, what's gonna happen? The bleed trip of light is gonna come on and automatically the engine bleed valve is gonna close. Okay, remember this, automatically the engine bleed valve is gonna close. Now. One of the stuff that we teach here in the academy in One Step Prep is this here. How do you guys know when the engine bleed valve closed? Do we do this type of troubleshooting? Do we check to make sure that the engine bleed valve closed because we had an excessive pneumatic temperature pressure? 50%, 50%, yes, 50% no, right? So normally how can you check if the engine bleed valve is actually closed? Well, if you come to the pneumatic, if you come to the pneumatic gauge, let me do something here, okay, so you can see. You just pay attention here to the gauge, and I'm gonna do some stuff here so you can see how it's gonna look, all right, when the engine bleed valve actually close. <clears throat> so this is how it's gonna look <clears throat> when the engine bleed valve for number two engine close, so the right needle should be in zero. This is telling you that you don't have any pressure on the right side of the manifold. So now you confirming that the engine bleed valve is actually closed because remember, this is what you're gonna be flying. You're gonna be using the pneumatic system panel. You're not gonna be looking at the schematic. So the only way you can tell when the engine bleed valve is doing its function or it's actually closed is by looking at the pneumatic gauge and then you're gonna see the right side actually showing zero pressure. That means that the engine bleed valve is closed. Okay, good. Now, when you go to the QRH, the QRH is gonna say wait five minutes and then press the trip reset button. Why do we use the trip reset button? Remember this button, we use it to reset three lights. 
you can reset the bleed trip off light, you can reset the pack trip off, and you can reset the doctor reheat. So it's gonna be three lights that you can reset using the trip reset button. The bleed trip off, pack trip off, and doctor reheat. So if you follow the procedure in the QRH, it's gonna tell you to wait five minutes, and then press the trip reset button. Now, do we know actually what we're doing? How do you know? My question to you guys is, how do you know which which, uh, which of these two sensors is giving you the problem? Because the answer is excessive pneumatic temperature and pressure. Now, what is the problem? Temperature or pressure? Do we know that? How can you tell? How can you troubleshoot these systems? Okay, so now pay attention here. So normally, remember that the pressure sensor is upstream, it's before the engine bleed valve. And the temperature sensor is downstream, means after the engine bleed valve. So, by the closing of the engine bleed valve, if the problem that you guys have is temperature, you will reset that valve. You're gonna be able to reset the valve. Why? Because normally when you hit the trip reset button, because of the engine bleed valve being closed, this temperature on the manifold is gonna go down. So you're gonna be able to reset it. But if your problem is pressure, by the time you press the trip reset button and the bleed trip off light remains on, then that means your problem is gonna be pressure. Why? Because remember, the sensor is upstream, it's before the engine bleed valve. So it don't matter if the engine bleed valve closed because your problem is before. So you still have overpressure condition on the system. So you're not going to be able to reset that bleed trip off light. Do that make sense to you guys? All right, so this is how you can tell or how you guys can troubleshoot the pneumatic system bleed trip off light problem. I hope you like it, and if you need any help for your initial recurring training coming up, remember to visit our website, onestepprep.com, okay? You can call the office. We have a lot of new training coming up. We have another one. Let me make sure I, I, you guys know about this one. We have the new flight attendance uh, course. So if you have anybody that wanted to be a flight attendant, remember to give us a call, visit our website. We have everything you guys need for your initial and recurring training. God bless you. Love you guys.